Okay. Um, the question was if if one person parent's doing it, is, is, does it make it? Uh, is it if one parent isn't doing it, does it make it harder or easier or whatever? Um, I find that my dad's emotions far easier to get through, take far less time. Um, my mum's emotions, uh, my emotions to about my mum and the codependency there, a lot harder to go through. Um, I've still got some really horrible stuff that I need to go through and I keep getting reminded about it through some dreams lately. So, although my mum isn't willing to do with her emotions yet, and that's okay, that's her choice. I do feel like I've gone through enough of my stuff now to have the energy to plow through those emotions and, and deal with it from, from that side. It's, it's been far, it's been, like even just having one parent is far better than, than no parents at all because I have the confidence now to process through my stuff. If dad hadn't processed through his stuff, or even started, I, there's, there's a very good chance I would never have even started at all. And I would, if I had started, it would be far more time and, and far harder to get through. The, the, fact thing is, the fact is, Dad's been very honest with me about some of the emotions he had, and I've been growing to be more honest with him with some of my emotions that I've had, and that makes it far easier. So don't underestimate your own power as a parent even if the other parent is not there. And at the same time, you're supporting them through the other stuff as well without projecting your emotions from the other parent as well. So Dad's never actually projected, or I never felt that Dad's projected his stuff with Mum on me, making it harder to get through my stuff with Mum. Um, for Christine, how, how, like, what's your relationship like with God now, do you, is that a very real reality for you emotionally and does it happen, like do you have divine love coming to you often or is it? Um, I feel like I've got divine love coming to me often. It, it's grown from a very small wispy thing to a very real tangible thing. I, I can wake up and feel like I'm going to be a of God soon. I, I know that God's there now. I know that God's in my life. I know that I that God loves me. And those things, like even a year ago, like, were never part of me, it was never part of my, my personality. I, I'm so gung ho God now, and, and yet I still don't feel like that Nancy, Christ, uh, Nancy Christian boy that was back five years back. I, I feel like I'm myself, and, and I still do the things I want to do, but, but God's still there in my life. Like, people get, um, especially friend, new friends I make, they get a bit. They get a bit weirded out that like, I'm, I'm the personality that I am. Uh, I'm a bit outrageous sometimes, and I'm a bit happy, and then I get very serious emotionally, and then I'm always talking about God, and 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 not, never trying to push pressure God onto them. And that's new for people, I suppose. And how about you, AJ? Do you um, like? Is it every moment now for you to feel God, or is it just after you've done a bit of emotional stuff? Um, in terms of when I feel God's emotions, that's usually when I've worked on something that's just been released. So, so I'm still releasing emotions. So what happens is that I feel God all the time, but um, I know that I'm not receiving divine love all the time yet. And, and particularly I'm going through some emotions of self, uh, self-loathing type emotions at the moment as well, which, which Tristan's obviously going through as well. Um, so uh, while I've got those emotions, there's a, there's a blockage between me and God, and so I can feel that blockage. But even if that's the case, I'm talking to God constantly through that process. So, so every single moment, pretty much, of, of most days, I'm constantly communicating with God about where I'm at right now, how, you know, how can I face this emotion, what am I asking God to bring me a law of attraction event so that I can face it. Like, you know, I'm getting quite a lot of them in a rapid succession occurring, um, so much so that some days you know, it's hard to get some sleep <laughs> because of the amount of law of attraction events. But, but what I'm finding now is I'm really right down at the core now um, of my own emotional processing and, uh, and feel that quite soon. Uh, it, there's sort of like this one big core emotion within me that's been chipped away at it at lots of different levels now. So my relationship with God, though, is just like, um, 
go to my dad um, and, or my mum. I often think of them as even. And, and I, I'm constantly talking to God all through the day. Even while I'm speaking with you, I'm often feeling my feelings about God through that process. And what I've noticed in Tristan too, if I could comment about how Tristan has been, about two years ago, Tristan sort of had a consciousness of God's existence, would be the best way to put it, but not a real emotional connection with God. And then over the, it took him a year of emotional processing nearly before he really started having really strong feelings about God and a desire for God. And now that he's feeling, like now, probably five or six months ago, I started feeling, probably even maybe not that far ago, I started feeling a really strong passion in Tristan for God. And now, like I know he talks to God all the time and, and has this pretty constant relationship going on, even though at times he feels very blocked. So, and because I've got that kind of relationship, I can feel his relationship no matter where he is with God. So, so he can be, I've been overseas and been feeling how Tristan's doing when he's in Australia. And I can feel when he's connecting with God and when he isn't. And also, that when you're communicating, do you still, like, do you find yourself saying in your head the words of what you want to say to God as well? Yeah, um, what I try to do is I try to make my whole being in line with what I'm communicating with God about. So that means my thoughts, my emotions, all in that one direction. Yeah, what I find there are sometimes during a day where I can actually have feelings without the thoughts, but the majority of times still, if I'm, particularly if I'm in a, stuck or in a stuck location, which I have been on occasion over the last few weeks, um, what I've done then is I've still tried to keep my thoughts and my feelings directed in that direction, even though there's been these other pressures uh, and the blocked emotion, and just even just praying about the blockages. I, like that's why I keep re recommending to everyone: keep praying about your blockages, keep praying about God showing you what's stopping you from feeling, uh, because that that's been really helpful for me. I find that uh, that talking to God, even when you feel that there is no God, helps. Talking to God and being honest as you can, and this applies to even in relationships around you. Being honest as you can, even if the honesty is, I really hate you. <laughs> we do that with God, and things will, will ease up so much better, and the, the, the relationship with God will come easier, and the emotions will come easier. So, a lot of it's about being truthful with God, too. So, a lot of constantly trying to be truthful with God, like. Yes, this is how I feel. Own up to how you're feeling on a pretty constant basis. So I find what I find about talking about it with God is a lot easier than actually owning it up to yourself, sort of thing. It's like when you talk about it with God, you, you're saying, "Yeah, I can see. Thanks, God. I can see that that you know, it's like having a conversation with God. I can see this emotion in me now. What can I do about it? You know, and uh, and allow myself to just con continue in this constant dialogue with God." Uh, and then, as you do with the emotion, you feel God's dialogue in return. And um, so, you know, as you release the emotion, you feel a very strong confirmation that, yeah, that was a cause of emotion. No, no, you're not there yet. You need to go further. And, you know, there's deeper emotions you need to go with. And, and also now I'm feeling a lot more of God's love in the sense of um, feeling protection, feelings of security and protection from God. So, you know, in the last few months I've had people, I know in our audience at times there's been people who've been urged by spirits to kill me and I can feel that urging to occur, but I feel actually quite safe myself because I can feel that protection that God's given me.